Well, I'm a well-trained economist. Um, I could teach you to be an economist. But what would be the point in you being my pupil, my student, one of my students, when you could be online doing a degree at the LSE, London School of Economics, possibly the finest in the world. You'd be mad to just settle for Marshall unless there's something stopping you being online. <laughs> you can't do computing, so you don't have a computer. Well, okay. But there's nothing stopping you. The Holy Spirit is within you already. Why would you choose to be my student when you can be a student of the Holy Spirit? It would be a nonsense, wouldn't it? You might say to me, yes, but you're here in the physical and uh, I can't see the Holy Spirit. Ah, oh, well, let me suggest to you that that's not actually so. You don't need to see the Holy Spirit. You need simply to be aware of the Holy Spirit's presence. Now, if the Holy Spirit brings about all that is good direct from God, then that which is good around you is presumably worth looking at. So whatsoever is good and lovely, think on these things. The more you become conscious of such, the more you will appreciate and value them. The more you value them, the more you will want to express your gratitude, your thankfulness for such. To whom should you be thankful? To me? <laughs> no way. To God. But you say, I can't see God. No, that is true. But you want him to exist, don't you? Oh yes, very much, so I could thank him. Well, since he's wonderfully higher than us, don't you think he will be aware of your thanks, whether you can see him or not? Don't you think that perhaps he knows what's going on in all of his universes, and indeed, what we are all thinking and saying at this moment. Besides, isn't it best to trust that this is so? For if it is so, it would be terrible to have missed the opportunity of thanking him. And if it isn't so, what have you lost? For the more you become conscious of that which is good, the more you understand that which is good. And the more it affects you, your values and your life. And one would trust that this is to good. Far more than concentrating on all that's evil. So we are settled then. We've made up our minds. It's in our great interest to trust. Both that God exists and is the cause of all that is wonderful. And we can thank him with all our whole being, filled with gratitude for all his goodness. Which includes, of course, all the good thoughts that flow from him. And we trust in him to care for us in such a way. So every day becomes beautiful as we detect confirmation of the harvest of this trust. We are sensitive to all the good things that happen to us and filled with joy and peace and more and more hope. 
we are swept up in a loveliness of being. We're not only a child of God, but now aware of it. We are relating to God. We are becoming God's great friend. Isn't that lovely? What more could one possibly dream of wanting? Love you, Dad. Thank you, Heavenly Dad. Thank you, Dad.